Good morning, guys. Weighed in today at 172.6. Yesterday I was 173.5, so the scale is moving. It's not a new low. The low for this cut so far is 172, but I think that was just uh, is it after basketball. Just after being just a little bit more depleted. So 172.6. I'm liking the trend. It's moving down. Uh, I should hit a. I, I should hit a new low tomorrow. Tomorrow or Saturday. But everything's going good. I haven't changed my macros at all just yet. If anything, I'm giving myself more of a range. I'm more like 275, 300 to 300 carb, 50 to 60 fat, 185 to like 200 protein. So there's days where I'm, I'm hitting lower on the lower scale. Some days I'm hitting the, the higher scale. That's what a range is there for, to give you a just a little bit more buffer, a little bit more wiggle room. And as you get deeper into the cut, you adjust and you get a little bit more anal, more accurate with your macros and just try to hit a certain set number versus a range. That's what I recommend you guys doing when you're in the off season. <clears throat> I don't recommend going full fat boy, bulking hard as hell, just trying to put on weight. You should still have a, a should still have an idea of where your nutrition is, how, how much you're intaking. Because when you start your cut, that's gonna help you. You're also probably gonna keep your body fat gain lower than if you didn't count and just went out to eat and just ate by your appetite. Because again, you want, there's there's a protein requirement that you wanna hit and if you start eating like shit, eating out all the time, it's you most likely won't hit your protein. So yeah, when you're in, in your surplus, your bulking mode, try to do a range, but give yourself a bigger range and I, I guarantee you guys, it'll, you'll like it. You'll be bulking, but you, you won't feel like you're really counting macros like you're cutting because it's not like you're putting that much pressure on yourself. You have a big cushion and you most likely will start falling under that little range daily by just you eating regularly. <coughs> hey, pick up those funions on the ground. Are you done with those? For the most part, my, my routine, my morning routine has been pretty consistent. Some days when I don't get to do it, but it just all depends. But I would say like three or four days of the week, I'm running the same schedule. I, and I like it. I get up in the morning, go to the bathroom, t try to take a nice dump, nice shit, and then weigh myself in, and then get dressed, come downstairs, get my water in, have my morning coffee, and then I head to Fitness 19 for cardio. I don't do fasted cardio purposely for some, some magical fat loss results. It's just easier. I'd much rather just get it done, get the cardio done, and eat when I get back. That way it's a meal that's closer to my pre-workout. It'll be my pre-workout because it's closer to my, my training session. So I'll come back from cardio. Sometimes I'll do some work here on the MacBook or I'll just jump in the shower and go straight to the campus. And then I get some work done and I stay busy. Keeps my mind off food, which I think that is key. If you're sitting around doing nothing, you're gonna think about how hungry you are and what you're craving all the time. So stay busy. So yeah, I'm busy office hours for a while and then I train around five or six. I'll have like a pre-workout snack and then I will train two, three hours and then go home, have my last meal, uh, get back on the MacBook, get a little bit of work done before chilling with the, the girls. And yeah, that's it guys, that's my life. That's the life of a self-employed dad, husband, bodybuilder, it's it's all about consistency you got to find your routine you have to find your flow and just go with that but be open be open for adding stuff to it or taking stuff away so you're 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 running as efficient as possible i'm sure there, there's a lot more in between those main times that i told you but i'm just trying to keep it very simple and brief okay so today uh is my 
weekly haircut. I get my haircuts on Thursday with Nick the Barber. So it's like perfect. I do my cardio, get it done. I'm like sweaty, I dry off, and then I go get my haircut. It's not like I stink. I'm not one of those stinky dudes that just, if, if I sweat, I smell like, like B.O. No, Nick has never said anything. And he would, he's my boy, he would tell me the truth. Like, hey, yo, you smell like shit. You need to take showers before you come. Nah, I've been doing that for years. So yeah, weekly haircut. I've been keeping it longer. You guys noticed, someone said that I needed a haircut and I was like, ah, oh, I'm growing out for the wife. So I'm keeping it longer on the top and then keeping the fade lower and then still doing like a, a skin fade, but super low. I like it. I think it looks better when I'm starting to get leaner. I don't know, that's just me. I, I like to kind of change the length of my hair when I'm like cutting, bulking, cutting, bulking. Just keeps things um, exciting. I just want to show you this supplement that I've been taking from, um, I've been getting it from Amazon. It's by Irwin Naturals, which is a really good um, like supplement vitamin company. Right, they have everything on their line. They're, they're super old school. I, I knew of them from um, the vitamin shop. So I've been taking this for my sleepy time to help me with um, falling asleep and just getting better REM. And it's been helping. And how I can tell is my, I, I've been dreaming. It's just your basic relaxing sleep aid stuff. You got flaxseed oil, uh, hops flour, lemon balm extract, passion flower, GABA, L-theanine, melatonin. I like it because it has six milligrams of melatonin. Usually these these blends, these supplements, Daddy, sleep, yeah. sleep, sleep supplements only have like two or three milligrams. Kendall, what are you doing? Where's your diaper? <laughs> Back from the barber shop. It's like two o'clock. I'm pretty damn hungry. I'm gonna have Sonia make me the same breakfast burritos that I had yesterday. I think I have them like three or four times a week. Daddy. Hey, put on some clothes. <laughs> that is the inside of the burritos. I think I usually show everybody how they look rolled up. Five egg whites, one whole egg, fat-free cheese, uh, the Morning Star veggie patties, the spinach tortillas, and the salsa. First time rocking the the ninety sevens. These are just the black and whites. I'm liking them. At first, they seem pretty stiff, like they wouldn't be comfortable because I'm so used to the the fly knit, but. I'm liking him. All right, guys, I'm at my desk. I gotta knock out a bunch of client work before I get to train at 5, 5.30. I'm hungry. I'm already hungry. I just ate. That means we're getting somewhere. We're getting leaner. I, I, I didn't feel this, this way like la the last couple weeks. And it, the hunger, the cravings, they just hit me. Sushi Saturday is gonna come in clutch for me so by, by the time i hit saturday i like i have made some some progress with some fat loss and then i refeed boom avengers saturday night with sonia a little date night it's been a while since we watched the movie it's tough for us to get to the movies we have you know two little ones um and they're not ready for the theater yet their attention to span uh, maturity is not there yet ken will probably be running around the the theater just raising hell put on some clothes <laughs> but uh for you guys that have kids what age did you start bringing them to the theater all right so i brought these icon meals pancakes for my pre-workout i'm gonna have this and one of these lucky charm charms treat bars it's so good it's like seriously a bowl of cereal Peep the macros though. Six fat, 36 carb, two protein. And this is a pretty good size. Volume. Roger just got here. What's up guys? How are you feeling today? Feeling good. Got a, I was a little sick when I came back from Chicago, but I think a lot better. What was your weight at today? I was at 176. Is so, that a low? Uh, well, when I left, I was at 175. So um, I need one more pound to go. 
to be back where I was. Almost there. I'll get it done. All right, we are gonna crush this uh, push workout. I feel good. Snap them into the uh, the workout. Three, two, one. Ain't nothing but against the body. Oh shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. <laughs> you done put two of America's most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. <laughs> Y'all niggas about to feel this. Break out the champagne glasses and motherfucking condoms. Have one on us, alright? Picture perfect. I paint a perfect. 120s feel heavy. This cut is real. I think I was doing that for like easy 10 reps when I was above 180. Easy. But now I'm like 172, so I'll take it. I'm still gonna fuck with the 120s on this cut. That's what you gotta do to maintain your strength is don't fear the heavy rep ranges. You gotta throw them in once in a while. Let's work. Double OP, dog, my fucking homie, you the cold ass nigga on the mall. Show sure up, I keep my hand on my gun, cause they got me on the run. Now I'm back in the coat room, waiting on the outcome. Three, two pockets, all this on the niggas' mind. But at the same time, it seems they trying to take mine. So I'ma get smart and get defensive and shit. And put together a million march for some gangsters. <laughs> So what do you prefer, coach? Dumbbell? Barbell? Uh, for strength games, I think doing a mix of both. Like, you want to get good at both of them. You don't want to focus on just one. It went, so it's to the point where you go to back to some, another one and it's just, you suck ass at it. You gotcha. want to have a nice balance of both. Gotcha. I mean, Roger do this thing where we kind of just act a little cocky when we're not and look at each other like, look at this. Turn your head and look <laughs> on a pause. Don't do it on deadlifts though. <laughs> Oh yeah. So how many more weeks till your shirts come off? Uh, probably like four to five weeks out. Four to five weeks. <laughs> to be in a, what does Chris Jones call it, hoe ready? Hoe ready. <laughs> So now they got a place to multi millionaire motherfuckers catch a case. Mm. Bitches get ready for the throwdown, the shit's about to go down. Uh, me and Snoop about to clap. <laughs> I'm losing my religion. I'm vicious on these school pigeons. You might be deep in this game, but you got the rules missing. Niggas be acting like you're savage, they ought to get the. Squeeze them. Horseshoe. There you go, like that. There you go. Ooh, those tries are gonna look nasty. I could already see it.
workout complete. It was actually a pretty good one. Zero to 10, I would say that was like a 9.8. I'm freaking hungry. My hunger levels have increased uh, the past couple days. So I'm gonna go home, eat my burgers, watch some TV and go to bed. Cause I'm itching to uh, get another car. So I got this four series automatic. Uh, it's just fully loaded, it has everything. It's super nice, but it's just a normal car. Where, cause I had the M3, I love that thing. But after I started riding, I kind of just didn't care about the car. Like nothing was as fun and as fast as my bike. So I was like, let me let me get rid of it. It's just sitting in the garage. Let me get something um, a little bit cheaper, more affordable, <coughs> save me some money. <coughs> Cause I'm not using it. I don't mind spending money, but if I'm not using the 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 thing, the material, then I'm gonna get rid of it. But I've been itching. I've been seeing a bunch of like M4s and M3s around. I love the M3 and the M4. I think it's like just uh, overall complete package. Like it's not the fastest car, but it's it's a good enough power. Good enough. It's good enough with the power. Uh, it's comfortable. It's practical, and it's just a nice car. The M3 and the M4 are due for. Um, they're gonna change the the body style finally, and I think it's 2020. So they'll be coming out 2019. Um, it's either that new M3 or the new M4, or I like the, the Porsche GT4, something fun. The GT4 is cool because it comes standard. It's manual six speed. I need six speed. And with the M cars, the newer ones, they just come with their um, automatic transmission, the super fast transmission, and you have to special order a six speed. I need a, I need a third pedal. Let me know what you guys think. GT4? or new m3 m4 body style when it comes out it's supposed to have 50 more horse too to the motor and my m3 was stock 430 and it was more than enough power like i didn't have to do stage one on it i i was good on power let me know let me know what you guys would go with honeys i'm home Are you happy to see me? Yeah. Post workout meal about to go down. Look at that. It says coach. Look. That's crazy. Today, I can only fit in one of my burgers, but I'm also doing a Lean Cuisine Supreme Pizza. And then I'm gonna have this right here I've been craving this for a while I played out the, the birthday cake but I'm, I've been craving it so I'm gonna get back on this birthday cake halo top fix right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here I want to say thank you for watching as always and hit that like button if you liked the video uh, subscribe if you haven't already share the video if you liked it if you want to share it with your buddies I'll see you guys in the next video Peace. You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song, you sing.